Hey guys, Westy here. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a rundown. Uh, I'm certainly no expert. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on takeoffs and landings and what you should be doing with your sticks, etc., and looking out for. And then we're going to start doing um, tail in orientations and then start working towards left and right, uh, nose right and nose left orientations. And on. what I'm going to do is once we've got hovering on the um, tail in area sorted out, we're going to slowly rotate the helicopter to about 45 degrees. And if you kind of imagine it like you were turning around and facing the helicopter still, you're kind of still in um, tail in mode. But when you turn your radio around like that, it kind of feels different. But when you, if you angle yourself towards the helicopter, then it's actually tail in. The same as if you're like completely sideways. If you're like that and you start getting confused, you can turn around and you're back into tail in again. So um, that's a bit, just a bit of a tip. And you know, basically, you want to make sure your helicopter's all sweet as. Check all your blade grips. Make sure your tail's all sorted. Um, especially your pivoting link for the um, for the tail rotors, for the slider, because um, that's a common thing to come undone. And, all over that happens. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just get it up, get it up, and we'll start looking at the sticks, etc. And um, we'll see what we come up with. So hope you enjoyed the show. The thing we're going to look at on the heli is to make sure that you're getting full range of travel on your tail rotors. If you're not. You need to find out why before you can start. If you're not getting in tail control, you're going to end up in trouble. So, um, the other thing you want to check is make sure that your swash is working correctly, up, down, side to side. Make sure that's all working correctly. So, bring your tail back to the, to, in the centre, and we can spool it up.